Coming up at number 10, we have Will Smith and Jada Pinkett Smith. These two stars have been married for over 20 years, so maybe they found the secret to success? This couple might be as honest as it gets, revealing openly to the public that they are in fact in an open marriage. While she was on the Howard Stern Show in 2015, she spoke openly about the relationship, saying, quote, I trust that Will is a man of integrity. She also told the Huffington Post that both Will and herself are allowed to do whatever they want. Saying in that interview, quote, our perspective is, you don't avoid what's natural. You're going to be attracted to people. In our marriage vows, we didn't say forsaking all others. She also went on to call their relationship a grown one, and she did not deny that they are intimate with other people. I still can't believe how open they are with this. Am I the only one that had no idea about this? Maybe the media circus surrounding this was before my time, but I had no idea that they weren't monogamous. But crazy how they're so open about it, jeez. Next in at number nine, Dolly Parton and Carl Dean. So Dolly and her non-famous husband have been together long before she was the iconic singer and songwriter that she is today, getting married in 1966. But apparently one reason their wedded bliss has lasted for decades is that they are in an open relationship. Dolly told the Daily Mail in 2007 that, quote, if we cheat, we don't know it. So if we do cheat, it's very good for both of us. She continued saying, I don't wanna know it if he's cheating on me. If I'm cheating on him, he wouldn't want to know it. And if we do, if that's what's making it work, then that's fine too. Okay. So it seems that Dolly is another star incredibly open about her relationship. She's also not quiet about her distaste for monogamy, saying to Vanity Fair that monogamy is the most overrated virtue. So it seems that Dolly has been way ahead of the curve more than a few times in her life. Then at number eight, we have Monique and Sydney Hicks. This is another couple that has been shockingly open about the ins and outs of their relationship. Monique has spoken many times about the relationship, in short saying that indiscretions are not something that she worries about, as she doesn't define her relationship in that way. In an interview with Barbara Walters, Monique said, Could I have sex outside my marriage with Sydney? Yes. Could Sid have sex outside his marriage with me? Yes. That's not a deal breaker. She explained it further on the Oprah Winfrey show, quote, when I said I had an open marriage, people automatically jumped to sex. They automatically went there. But I've been best friends with my husband since we were 14 years old. When we say open, we're very honest. There are no secrets. Oftentimes you have people that are married, but they're strangers and we refuse to be like those people, end quote. So I don't like how she kind of conflates having a normal marriage with being boring, but I do respect how open she is and I'm happy that she's happy. Sliding on into number seven, we have Demi Moore and Bruce Willis. This couple is now divorced, but while they were together, it came out their relationship was not monogamous. The former couple who divorced in 1998 appear to have remained chummy with each other and even their new spouses. And even with their new spouses. The reveal came after paparazzi caught her with another man. And since she was being accused of cheating, she was forced to reveal that the couple was actually in an open relationship. She's also said that it was because they were both grown up, free people. But this is not Demi's only time dabbling in an open marriage. We spill some tea on her and Ashton Kutcher a little later on in the video, so stick around for that. Next up at number six, we have Megan Fox and Brian Austin Green. This is one that's a little twisted and definitely in the woman's favor. Inside sources have revealed that the couple has somewhat of an open marriage, but with a bit of a twist. Basically, Megan is the only one that's actually allowed to date other people outside the marriage. Well, Green is not. <laughs> well, I guess we can see who wears the pants in that marriage. But Fox also wants everyone to know that it's a rare occurrence that when she steps out of the marriage, and that she's not as promiscuous as the media portrays her to be. <laughs> this one is just crazy. I have no idea how Fox made her husband agree to those terms, because that's just insane. For me, if I was ever in an open relationship, it would have to be like we both do or we both don't. No weird in betweens like that. But hey, I'm not gonna hate on what happens between two consenting adults either. Happy through number five, we have Ethan Hawke and Ryan Sean Hughes. A lot of you might not be shocked that Ethan Hawke is on this list, as he publicly cheated on his ex-wife Uma Thurman with their nanny, Ryan Shaw Hughes. The couple later married in 2008, making it clear that they are in an open relationship because he is unsure if he's able to remain faithful to her. In an interview, Hawke called sexual fidelity childish, and he said he doesn't believe humans were made to be monogamous. He is committed to her, but he said that he never knows what the future may bring. He was also quoted as saying, sexual fidelity can't be the only whole thing you hang your relationship on. If you really love someone, you want them to grow, but you don't have to define how that happens. A very interesting take. But since the couple is still together, it's clear Ryan must share his same views on relationships and be okay with being open. But it wouldn't shock me if they had a similar dynamic to Megan Fox and her ex with Sean being the Megan Fox in their scenario. Next up at number four, we have David Beckham and Victoria Beckham. 
This is one that we don't have concrete proof of, but there are plenty of things that make people think that their relationship is also open. Especially since David has been seen out with other women on multiple occasions. Like back in 2007 when he was spotted multiple times with Imra Nisi. And then in 2010 when he was allegedly caught cheating again. So here I think we can all speculate that they have an open relationship or that Victoria is maybe just very forgiving and is able to move past it when he cheats. I don't know. But considering that the couple has been together forever it seems, maybe this could be their secret? In at number 3 we have Miley Cyrus and Liam Hemsworth. This is another relationship that has left a lot of people assuming their relationship was open. But again, there's no solid proof here. But Miley raised a lot of eyebrows when she made some uh, mysterious comments surrounding her marriage. During an Elle interview, Cyrus said that it's very confusing to people that she's married. She continued saying, quote, But my relationship is unique, and I don't know that I would ever publicly allow people in there because it's so complex and modern, and new that I don't think we're in a place where people would get it. She continued, I'm in a hetero relationship, but I'm still very sexually attracted to women. People become vegetarian for health reasons, but bacon still tastes damn good. And I know that. I made a partner decision. This is the person I feel has my back the most. I definitely don't fit into a stereotypical wife role. I don't like that word. Interesting. So after all that, people were speculating that they are open. Because come on. She said she was in a modern relationship and that people wouldn't understand. Also admit she's still attracted to women. So I don't think it would be crazy to assume that she's able to hook up with other people. Maybe just women, maybe both genders, I mean who knows. But I remember when I heard that they were together, I totally thought they had some sort of arrangement like this. Since Miley is so open and you know, free spirited and can't be tamed, all that. It wouldn't be all that shocking, but for me the shocking part would be that Liam would agree to an open marriage, you know? He doesn't seem like the type to me. Next up at number 2 we have Zac Efron and Vanessa Hudgens. This one is insane, with a lot of hearsay and speculation so take what I say with a grain of salt. But it was just so juicy, I couldn't not include it. <laughs> a lot of people close to the couple say that they were incredibly different in real life than what was displayed on screen, with one source claiming that Zac Efron refused to settle down until he was 40 years old. So to stay together. Together, Hudgens suggested an open relationship, but as we all know, this couple eventually split. So it's clear they couldn't work out long term. Hudgens also revealed to the source that she had a horrible time dealing with the openness of the relationship, and she was often jealous. And yeah, I can't blame her at all there. But if Zach told me that he wasn't gonna settle down till he was 40, presumably so he could get with a lot of other women, I think I would have just gotten the hell out of there. And at number one, we have Mila Kunis and Ashton Kutcher. So this wasn't Ashton's first dabble into the world of open marriages, with Demi Moore being open about the fact that they also had an open relationship and that they would partake in threesomes to keep Ashton satisfied. But when they divorced, Ashton decided to take another go at arranged marriages with his now wife, Mila Kunis. When Mila and Ashton first started seeing each other, they decided they were never getting married, even saying they wouldn't commit to a real relationship and they could just be friends with benefits. Kunis later said that she could not stick to this agreement for long, saying on Howard Stern that she started to get worried that she was going to lose him to another woman. And now they are still happily together, we hope, and hopefully he doesn't cheat like he did with his last relationship with Demi. Sorry, that one that we're telling Goldie Hawn and Kurt Russell. So Goldie Hawn has been no stranger to talking about the fact that she prefers open relationships, saying in an interview with people, quote, monogamy is a very tough order. She said, you're in the prime of your life. You're attracted to other people. Potentially, you have fantasies about that. It really runs the risk, if you will, if you're not aware that you could maybe screw up a really good thing by doing that. Her ex-partner, Bill Hudson, and the father of Kate Hudson also opened up about the fact that him and Goldie had been in an open relationship in their time together, saying in his book called Two Versions, The Other Side of Fame and Family, that Goldie refused to be in anything but an open marriage with him. In the book, Bill Hudson says that Han had affairs with Warren Beatty and French actor Yves Reiner while they were married, and details the time that Goldie brought her Swedish lover to the US as well. So that book is sounding pretty juicy to me. <laughs> then in at number 9, Tilda Swinton and John Byrne. So Tilda was in a long term relationship with John Byrne, and even had two children with him, but the couple decided to separate. And while they were still living together but separated, Tilda started dating Sandro Hopp and they are still together to this day. Because the three people were living in the same house for many months during this transitional period, many were led to believe that the couple had been in an open relationship, as nobody was quite sure when Tilda and John Byrne actually separated. Tilda spoke on the rumor saying, quote, there are some myths, she told the Daily Mail of living with two men. The reality is so much more boring, fun and good, but so much more boring. People like to believe all sorts of magical ideas. She added, quote, it's not something I try to promote as a radical lifestyle choice, 
but it's a situation I find very healthy. I can maintain my life with my children and their father and spend time with the man I've become very fond of. I'm very fortunate there has been a lot of understanding by the men. So this quote does not lead me to believe that it was an open relationship, but the rumors still swirl, so I thought I'd include it anyways. And at number eight, Pink and Carrie Hart. So Pink and Carrie Hart's relationship has had a lot of ups and downs over the years, as they went together for close to 20 years. And Pink has been very open about their struggles with the media as well. But something that's more of a rumor with the couple never actually confirming is that the couple had somewhat of an open door policy in the early days of their relationship, where they could date other people, but the two of them agreed that they did not want to know about each other's flings. But after a change of heart, the couple separated for two years, but didn't end up getting divorced. Apparently the nail in the coffin was when Carrie Hart was seen out with a mysterious blonde woman, and Pink did not like that but it seems like they had been able to work it out. And even though there were ups and downs in their relationship, the couple still seems happy together today. Up at number seven, Tom Ford and Richard Buckley. So Tom Ford and Richard Buckley have been married since 2014, but the couple has admitted to being in an open relationship while they had been together. With Tom Ford saying in an interview with Arena, quote, I think that monogamy is artificial. I do not think it's something that comes naturally to us. Then he quickly changed the topic of the interview saying to the reporter, quote, he was gonna be in so much we assume meeting with his husband for talking openly about it. In at number six, Maria Bello and Claire Munn. So Maria Bello is someone that is also very open about her preference for open relationships. She told Esquire back in 2006 that she finds it nonsensical, further explaining, quote, I suppose I understand the idea of a lifelong helpmate and friend, but when you have to say sexually monogamous to one person, I think it's usually a big fat lie. Bello then spoke about it again in a piece she did for the New York Times. Saying, quote, my feelings about attachment and partnership have always been that they are fluid and evolving. She continued, quote, whomever I love, however I love them, whether they sleep in my bed or not, or whether I do homework with them or share a child with them, love is love. So it's great to say that she knows what she wants and her partners want that lifestyle as well. How do I do at number five, T-Pain and Amber Najim. So this T-Pain one is a little up in the air. He once said in a past interview, quote, me and my wife just sleep with other girls together. It's not like we can just go off and have relationships with other other people. People were assuming we got married for nothing. So after he made comments like that one back in the day, people started adding the couple to lists of couples in open relationships and everyone started to say that they were swingers. But T-Pain decided to address this last year in an interview with People, where when addressing if the couple was in an open relationship, he said, quote, it's definitely not that. Not at all, not even close. I wouldn't even want to do that with a girlfriend, nonetheless my wife. So it seems like the jury's kind of out on this one, or he could just be kind of meaning to say that him and his wife sleep with other women, but they're not ever in relationships with other people. Making both comments somewhat true. Let me know what you guys make of this one below. And at number four, Shirley MacLaine and Steve Parker. Shirley MacLaine is another star who is very open about the fact that she had an open relationship with her husband, Steve Parker. In her 2011 memoir called I'm All Over, she said, quote, my husband and I had a liberal arrangement when it came to each other's lovers. We were friends. We stayed married so that we wouldn't be tempted to marry again. Then years later in an interview with People, she spoke on her relationship again saying, quote, no one understood it, but we did. He lived in Japan, basically. I lived in America working and this and that. We'd meet up, always great friends, and traveled sometimes together. Adding that they stayed friends the whole time, but was just very open about everything that they did with other people. Then up at number three, Justin Timberlake and Jessica Biel. So this one is very interesting. Basically, when the couple first started seeing each other, neither of them wanted to be tied down. But as time went on, Jessica wanted their relationship to be more serious, but Justin still didn't want this. And he said that their relationship needed to be open for them to continue to be together. And apparently Jessica wasn't happy with this, but she loved Justin and did see a long-term future with him. So she put up with being in an open relationship until they got pregnant and decided to get married. So this one's true. It looks like Jessica stuck it out to get her man and I'm happy it worked out for them. And at number two, Beyonce and Jay-Z. So Beyonce and Jay-Z are one of the longest lasting relationships in all of Hollywood. But as we know, there've been a lot of ups and downs along the way. And there have also been rumors through the years that the reason they have been able to stay together is because they would allegedly participate in threesomes with other women. Also, there had been rumors in the past of Jay-Z cheating with Rihanna as well as Rita Ora at one point. However, since we know that Beyonce was torn up by Jay-Z's cheating as she revealed in her Lemonade album, this might not be true as if they were open then she wouldn't really have ground to be mad at him for cheating. But maybe she was just mad he was carrying on relationships with other women and not just sleeping with them. Who knows? If you know more about this one, please let me know down below. And finally at number one, Chris Martin and Gwyneth Paltrow. When Chris Martin and Gwyneth Paltrow separated, the public was shocked. 
but apparently their close friends and family saw it coming, as their open relationship had been on the rocks for quite some time. A close friend of theirs told People, quote, they had been on and off for many years. The marriage was falling apart. Another source told Access Hollywood more about their open relationship, saying, quote, if Chris was playing around, Gwyneth didn't care. She's never really been jealous or territorial. Her philosophy is we're both adults, we make our own choices. And it seemed to be that way as both of them were tied to various other people throughout their relationship. But unfortunately, it didn't end up lasting and they got divorced in 20.